I was looking at the forum the other day and I saw this post which Julian had answered about how to use some code to create an iframe to display a uh, PDF inside your web page. And it made me think that I've been using very similar using Google Drive. So I thought I'd show you how I use that and also uh, how it compares to the solution here. So jumping over into the uh, classic clips app, I've uh, got an object for dog breeds. It's a very simple object, uh, short text for the breed name, uh, a web link to take you to the website. I've added a, a file field so I can upload a, a PDF. There's a file link field, a text formula field for the iframe and a rich text field for the embed. So just to look at the records, looking at the top one, we have an Afghan hound and this is just a fake link to a website. This is the file uploaded as a PDF and the rest of the fields are currently empty. On the live app, it's the top record here for the Afghan hound. So this is the web link and if I click on view, just shows me the web link here and then a clickable file for the PDF, which obviously then loads in the standard viewer. So what I'd like to do is to be able to display the PDF embedded into this page automatically so the user doesn't have to click on the link. Now for me, this reason was driven by the fact that a client had job descriptions and uh, we wanted to make the uh, job description, which was I think three or four pages, much more kind of front and center and, and not rely on the user to have to click on to the view the PDF. So we wanted it kind of nice and visible when they got to this page. So I'm just jumping over into a Google Drive account, which is uh, completely empty on this particular account. And I'm going to drag a PDF and just upload that PDF. So the first thing to do is to right click on the file and go to the share properties and make it publicly available. So I'm gonna change it from restricted to anyone with the link. And say done. I'm just going to open the file and then go to the three ellipses in the top right hand corner and open in a new window. Uh, now that's open in a new window, go to the ellipses here for more actions and then you can pick up the embed item code. So this is the embed code. So I'm just going to copy that into a notepad. The two parameters here I'd normally change will be the width. So on here I'd change it from 640 pixels to uh, 1000 pixels wide and uh, the height I'm also going to do the same. In fact I'm going to go 1000 high and I'll do 900 uh, in the width. That should look okay. So this is my iframe code. So I'm just going to copy that back into NAC into the bridge object and it's going to go into this um, text rich text field here called embed. So go back to my records. So if I click into the embed field, I get my rich text controls and the one I want here is the HTML one. So if I switch to HTML and paste that in and click submit, it won't be immediately obvious that it's actually embedded, but if I click into the cell, um, I can then kind of scroll around here and I can see that there is the file here and uh, I can scroll through that. So I'm going to jump over into my pages and add that embed code to the view. Back to the live app. Do a refresh. And now I have the file embedded into the page. You have the same controls down the bottom, so you have uh, minus and plus to zoom in and out. And you can obviously scroll and you can use the uh, the pop out here as well, which will take you to, uh, to Google Drive directly. So hopefully you agree that embedding the PDF into the page makes it a lot more obvious for the user and a lot easier for them to review and digest. The other method that was talked about on the forum is where you found a document and it already exists on the internet. So for instance, I've just done a little bit of Googling and found this link, which is a four page PDF. It uh, has to sit on a secured web page. Um, it uh, NAC won't allow you to embed it if it's not on a secure page already. Uh, but I want to just use this. I don't want to have to download the file, upload the file into my Google account and then embed it. I just want to be able to embed this uh, straight into my app. Now that's fine, I suppose, as long as you're confident that this content doesn't move. Um, I tend to uh, rather personally download it, put it into my Google Drive so I know that I've got control. But we'll work on the principle that this uh, reference document 
uh, will remain. So I'm just going to copy the URL for this page back into my breach object and I'm going to put that into the link field for the file. Just going to change to my fields view. You can see that under the file link is the iframe, which is a text formula. So this is where I'll be using the code supplied by Julian, which is here. So back to NAC and paste that in. I need to make a couple of changes. First of all, um, I would like the width of my form to be a thousand. And once again, I'm going to make it 900 long. And it's the file, the field name goes into here. So I'm just going to remove this information and I'm looking for the file link field. That's where my URL is. So now, as you can see, it pulls through to the iframe, the PDF with the thumbnails. So back over to pages, I'm going to just delete the embedded view and I'm going to put the iframe view in there. And as you can see, it looks very similar, but the difference here is this is embedded from that website. Um, you still have all the same functionality, so you can hide the thumbnails, uh, you can uh, increase and decrease the size, rotate, download, and obviously scroll around the, uh, the PDF as you'd require before, all embedded within the page. And uh, hopefully it gives you some extra functionality, um, making it easier for people to uh, consume uh, that content. Okay, great. Thanks for your time and look forward to catching you in the next one.